Oh boy. Ugh. Too much, too much technology here, guys. Okay, well, welcome. It is yet another beautiful Saturday and my dad is over there on his tractor. Um, we've already had a big morning. Uh, we went out to a plow day to plow with some, some oxen, which was really cool. And uh, now, in about 45 minutes, we are opening the distillery for the first time this year, which is really exciting. Um, we've also got cocktail flights now, which is amazing. Uh, but before we do that, we are planting a tree. That's right, planting a tree. Um, we are planting a cherry tree to replace one of the trees that we lost um, last season. Here we go. Hey. Hey. Ah. So we had a tree, I think it was a pear tree here, that for some reason wasn't doing well at all. Uh, so we're pulling it out and we're going to put in a cherry tree. Uh, trying to do it without disturbing all the daffodils too much. Um, so I soften up the soil, mix it up a little bit, and uh, then I'm going to uh, go get that uh, brown garden cart. Put some of the soil in that so that uh, then we'll set the tree in and we can put some of that soil back around it. It used to be that you would add a lot of soil amendment to the dirt that you're putting uh, the tree in, but uh, the recommendations have changed and they say that by doing that you encourage the roots to just stay right there and that uh, and the roots won't go out into the surrounding soil which is you definitely need them to do in fact if you come over here so this is the the stub I pulled out um, and this gives you a little lesson about how important it is to spread the roots out when you're planting it you see how all these roots are kind of going in the same direction would have been better if this one would been pulled out one way and this one been pulled out so that they were uh, make a spread out more to get nutrient and water and to stabilize the tree. Hey Greg, yes. would you get that brown garden cart from across the street and bring it up here? Yeah, sure. The big dump cart. Yeah. The brown plastic. The plastic. Okay, here are two little cherry trees. This is a variety called North Star. Uh, these come from Cummins Nursery in upstate New York, and we found they are one of the nurseries that send us the nicest plants, so uh, we try to use them a lot. So they're wrapped in the plastic like this to keep moisture around the roots during shipping. I'd look at the nice root systems on these. Okay, we definitely don't want them to dry out and we don't want more light on them than we have to have.
I'm sp spreading out these little roots, making sure they go in all the different directions. Look at this, this is really interesting. You got some little uh, sprouting coming off of those roots. All right, so the roots are nicely spread out there. Um, there's a little bit of grass in the bottom here. As long as it's well covered, it will rot and it actually provides some nutrients. Uh, now, we want our graft to be above ground. So the final ground level wants to be up here. Which probably means a little spreader. I want to be a little bit higher, right? All right, Greg, want to take the shovel and shovel some dirt from over here in. in an air pocket it's not going to get uh, moisture and uh, moisture is uh, how the nutrients move into the into the root system in the soil Should name this tree Greg. This is Tree Greg. Sprout Greg. We've <laughs> got, got Greg, Young Greg, and Sprout Greg. the tree to, for, to hold water while we're watering it. Turn it on all the way to start. Get it to get it to through. get it through. Yeah. All right. Yep. It, uh, you got to lift the handle on the hydrant. Okay. Should the valve be off first? Uh, you can leave that one on, but the other one needs to be off. Oh yeah. Okay. Tick. Tick. Okay, turn it down some. More. Less, less, less. Whoa. Less. Less. Yeah. And I'll put it on the uphill side here so that it can. Oops. So it can soak in 
All right, next. Well, that's pretty much it. We're gonna call this one Greg. How about other Greg? And other Greg, great. We've got Greg, other Greg. Thanks so much for watching. Um, click like and subscribe if you wanna see more of this stuff. We do a video every other Tuesday and uh, the distillery is currently open for the season. So if you're in the New Hampshire area, swing on by and see us. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.